hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel so i know i said i was gonna make a video every day but it is hard <laughs> i think i bit off a lot more than i can chew but it is the end of the month it is the 31st of january and i wanted to do a full-on review about how i did the last 30 days and just my journey my ups and downs my weight everything so at the beginning of the month it was amazing i did the reboot from prove it i lost about five pounds and i was super excited now <laughs> I didn't count my calories, I did not count my macros, I normally know everything that I'm eating and how many carbs it has in it and I always try to stay, stay below 20 net carbs. I test my blood ketones almost every morning to make sure I'm in ketosis. I worked out twice a day, there were some days, I want to say out of the month I probably had three rest days and I want to say for about half of the month I was doing one workout and the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the month I was doing two uh, workouts a day. I pushed myself. With cardio I pushed myself with weights because I love lifting weights and I had some ups and downs I had my menstrual in between I started school so a lot of stuff went on and I tried really hard to keep my cool be collective and positive but I had my days starting off I was um, recording myself taking my weight but then I started picking up weight I started getting a little depressed, I started getting a little upset, and I started feeling like a failure, and I started feeling like giving up. But I didn't. I didn't have one cheat meal at all this whole month. My birthday is on the 2nd, so of course I want to cheat. I'm going to be going to Cambria here in California for a couple days, so I'm pretty excited about that. But the thing is, is that I wanted to talk to you guys about is that this month was really full of up and downs. I took pictures almost every day and I'm going to show you guys a video that I made. It was a bunch of pictures that I took almost every day of my body from the side view in the bathroom and our full body mirror. And what I want you to do with these is really look at the pictures because there were some days where I looked bloated. There were some days where I looked good and I was just so happy and proud of myself and then I would weigh myself. And then I started trying to tell myself, Julie, the pictures, you can tell the difference. Stop looking at the scale. You've been lifting weights a lot. It's okay. And I just kept getting down on myself. And I kept saying, what if I post these pictures on my Instagram and show people, hey, this is what I'm going through. And maybe those people will help lift me up. And it did. But, you know, every time you see that number on the scale, it gets you upset because you want that number to go down. When we lived in Tahoe before I moved back with my parents, my lowest was 206. Two weeks prior to moving, I wanted to eat everything that I loved about Tahoe. All of the little spots, the family restaurants, everything that I loved. So I ate out every day and for two weeks. <laughs> and then when we moved back, you know, of course, I wanted to eat with my family. I didn't want to like have to worry about, you know, being so strict on myself. And then I got COVID. And I got sick, so I was eating a lot of soup, a lot of broth, a lot of noodles, a lot of, you know, stuff. And then once I was able to eat regular food, I went on a hype. And I was like, man, I haven't had Chick-fil-A in so long. When I was living in Tahoe, it took us 45 minutes an hour just to drive to get some Chick-fil-A. It would take us 30 to 45 minutes to get in and out. And so being that we had all of this in 5 to 10 minute drives, we went and got it almost every day especially when we were able to hold down food after having COVID. And then I said, once I'm feeling better, once I have the energy, I'm going to start working out again, being more strict, a lot more strict in which I was doing OMAD. Some days I would do OMAD. Some days I would just do intermittent fasting, still have two meals. Some days I would have three. Depending on how hungry I was, I just try to listen to my body. But it was a little hard. I did drink my ketones. I did take dietary supplements, which were my pre-workouts, my after-workouts. Um... I tried a lot of stuff. I drank nothing but water. There was maybe a couple of days where I had a Diet Coke, but I want to say I maybe had two Diet Cokes within the whole month. And I had a lot of infused waters, um, which I did myself, which were cucumbers, lemons, and strawberries. And um, it's just, it just gets a little disappointing when you know you tried. And what got me upset was that I 
have done this before. So when I was home, I ate just like this and I was still going down in weight. And then you start thinking, is my scale broken? You know, is it just me? Like, what is it? And you just get so down on yourself and I'm just like, fuck it, I just wanna give up. This is stupid, like, but then I have to remember, like, I'm looking at these pictures, I'm taking my measurements and my measurements are down. And that's what I keep trying to remind myself, but it's hard, you know? You know, I've had days where I cried and I was so upset about my weight because I don't know why, what I'm doing wrong because the same thing that I'm eating here was the same stuff I was eating back at home and I was going down on my weight and I kept thinking what if it's stress from school but I'm just like I, I, I'm not working right now so I have all the time in the world to do my classes and I spaced them out nicely and I just think I'm fine but life happens and here's my cat <laughs> so I'm trying not to get down on myself I hope this helps somebody who's really trying and you know sometimes you get fixated on a number and it just messes with your head and it just sucks that I just feel like I tried so hard and I just felt like nothing happened but the measurements say different so what I have here is even though I started in January, the beginning of January, I took my weight and my measurements and everything. And so in December, I was up to 221. And that was, I want to say that was when I got sick with COVID. It was 221. Okay. Right now I'm 215. I was down to 211 like you know a couple weeks ago <laughs> but it just slowly trinkles up it goes down there's been days where i wake up and i'm 215 and then a couple hours later i'm down back to 211 or 212 so it's just fluctuates like crazy whatever um so so this is where i want to talk to you guys about my measurements so my waist beginning was um 42 and a quarter that was my waist and I measured myself today and I'm at 41 inches so I lost a quarter and for my hips I was at 51 and a half inches right now I'm at 51 so half inch there I measured my thighs last time I was 26 and a quarter inches right now I'm 26 and my arms was 14 and a quarter right now I'm at 14 inches my bust was 49 and now it's 48 so in a total I lost three inches and a quarter now to some people that may be oh that's just a little bit but that's something it's better than nothing it's better than me getting bigger I know that something's happening and I need to stop looking at the scale that's the thing that I need to stop because I'm torturing myself and I get obsessive because I'll measure my I'll not measure but I'll weigh myself multiple times throughout the day so this this is sometimes what we need to focus on but i hope this makes you guys feel better this makes you realize that other people that are feeling like this measure yourself take pictures don't weigh yourself i know it's easier said than done i'm still working on that but try you know put your scale away you know put it under the sink Put it under your bed. Forget about it. You know, wait until the end of the month, if anything. Maybe once a week. You know, weigh yourself. But I was getting pissed <laughs> because I wasn't seeing it on the scale. And I was working out twice a day. Twice a day. And still, nothing was changing on the scale. There's days where I told myself for the low-carb tortillas or lavishes, I was only going to have one or two a week. Um, instead of having them, you know, every other day or so. Um, there was times I only ate, um, you know, a low-carb lavish once or a low-carb tortilla once a week. And at that, my carb intake was really freaking low. So I just... But I'm happy. <laughs> I know I'm talking negatively still, but I'm trying to be proud of myself about the measurements. And I am. But the weight always is going to get me upset. It's always going to get me upset proud of myself but I'm trying to be proud of myself because 
I did lose something. It was inches. So I'm going to vlog my birthday if you guys want to watch. But please don't be discouraged about the scale. We can help each other and support one another so that we don't have to always look at the scale. Because it's hard. I always have to be reminded to stop weighing myself. Stop. Stop. Just stop. It's freaking hard not to because we want to. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I didn't do a video every day. It was freaking hard. So um, I mean, I'm going to try to post a little bit more, more cooking videos um, and showing you guys what I eat in a day, like more in detail because I usually just take little clips here and there. It's freaking hard to edit a freaking video at the end of the day. But thank you guys for tagging along. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it has informed you if any questions, if you have any questions, please write them down below. Um, remember to follow me on Instagram if you want to see daily stuff and go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if you want to see future videos. And thank you guys for watching. <laughs> By the way, I just want to remind you guys, even though I do seem seemed a little upset, I have to, you have to also remind yourself where you started. My sisters had to keep reminding me that I started at like 2.38, 2.38, and me being down at 2.15, it's okay. We all start somewhere and just be glad that I'm not, I'm, I need to be glad I'm not back up there. That's what I need to be proud of. <laughs> all right, guys, well, 